Well, yesterday's plane crash in San Francisco killed two teens and injured 182 other passengers. But our next guest says if it wasn't for special systems on the plane, the death toll could have actually been much higher. Joining us now, aerospace engineer and former U.S. Deputy Assistant Secretary of Transportation, Oliver McGee. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us today. Good afternoon, Shannon. Tell us about this technology you say that's built into the plane that actually probably kept it from being much worse. Well, um, kudos goes, goes out this today to Boeing. Uh, Boeing knows how to teach us how planes fly, but also how planes crash. And we have to celebrate today that so many lives were saved yesterday because 99% uh, of the people walked away from this uh, uh, tragedy. Uh, uh, condolences go out to the two young 16-year-olds who uh, uh, perished in this crash to their families. But uh, uh, FAA says we certify aircraft uh, like the Boeing 777 uh, to evacuate people in 90 seconds. Uh, yesterday's evacuation took place in about two minutes and largely due to the fact that when the tail section tore off, uh, some of the seats were jumbled and there might have been some obstructions. And more importantly, um, people were exiting through the aircraft from one side. So that probably delayed the, uh, the regulation time. But two minutes to evacuate an aircraft is exciting for aerospace technology and particularly for the flight crew that did a great job in uh, evacuating people so quickly through the chutes. Uh, it tells us all when we get in those aircraft, pay attention to the flight crew and read those cards, folks. Uh, I'm going to do that today when I fly to San Francisco today. And more importantly, uh, FAA certification also says that the seats that are locked onto these aircraft or flooring are, are just designed to withstand 16 G's of forces. So when this plane impacted, the seats were tied to the floors, which left the avenues of exit uh, available to the passengers. That's very, very important. 25 years ago, when planes crashed suddenly like this, uh, seats were jumbled all over the place. So you, you, you want to think of uh, an air, uh, aircraft cabin as an auditorium in the sky, a fire in the theater. So we all have to have the airways, uh, I mean the, the aisleways, available so people can exit the aircraft. Uh, this is a great uh, day for a FAA safety regulations and, more importantly, uh, the global competitiveness of Boeing's aircraft. The whole yeah. stayed together. Yeah, uh, Oliver, let me ask you, how much credit uh, do we need to give here to the crew of this plane? Because um, we do all need to pay better attention. And I, I always look around to the exit. I hate flying anyway. So I do. Uh, I'm one of the <laughs> ones who pays attention. But, you know, we get we get complacent. We watch this stuff. We fly a lot. Um, how much credit do you give to that crew who you never think you're going to need this training, but they certainly put it into practice yesterday? Global crews on uh, aviation safety are, are, should be saluted. Uh, when we sit down and listen to those, those uh, regulations that are being stipulated to us, and I'm for one reading a book on the aircraft, not necessarily paying attention, I will pay attention tonight, um, uh, are giving us ways to be able to be safe, uh, fasten our seat belts, be able to look closely where the exits are, how to get to them, have a plan of attack, when the exit procedure takes place. That's 90 seconds, folks. So we have to really uh, almost be in an automatic mode. And those cards in front of you are just basically your guide path. Just, just like this plane needed a guide path into its landing, passengers need a guide path to the exit so that they can be able to follow the procedures. And these flight crews are really shouting out orders very, very quickly. Go, 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 go. Fire in the auditorium. And basically what we witnessed on television yesterday is how people were able to exit before the flashover took place. That's the biggest problem, and as I said before, the 16G bolting of the seats has uh, really controlled the interior of the cabin for that exit procedure. All right. Oliver McGee, we appreciate uh, your experience and insight into this, and our hats off to those crew members uh, who did a heroic job. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Shannon.